Let's take a look at the new Google Sites that has been released to customers who are on the rapid release track over the last week or so. And my first comment is that it's a very simple design environment. It seems to be a little bit more catered toward intranet. There's no web address forwarding yet. So if you do create a public site, it does it is going to start with sites.google.com as far as I can tell. But I wanted to focus on how easy it is to embed different Google elements from Google Drive, things like YouTube and Google Docs. So very simply, you can go in and add these new, new bands and decide what the background color of those bands should be. Here's a text box with an embedded YouTube video. And then as I scroll down, you can see that there's an embedded Google Slides presentation. And if you click on that, there are some settings for whether or not to auto start, whether you want to loop the playback and what the delay time is when you do auto start. So that's pretty straightforward. You can also drop in a chart from any Google Sheets sheet. And that's what I did here. I've got this chart that comes from two data sources that I downloaded off of some government and Fed sites. And then the next one here is a map. So there's actually a database of Napa Valley wineries in an Excel spreadsheet that I brought into a Google Sheet, cleaned it up just a little bit, and then created this, this map. And we'll take a look at this in the actual rendered page in a second because you can zoom easily. You can also add any calendar. It could be your calendar of availability. It could be company events. It could be sports teams, as I have here. And then another example is embedding a document. So here's a document that Google provided with changes to the Gmail iOS app that just came out in November 2016. And we'll look at that. And then finally, in terms of embedded items, I've got a request a G Suite promo code, which is a Google form. And last, I've got just a standard image embedded. So if we look at this in the rendered page, it looks very similar. But here we'll see what the visitor sees. We'll see the slides go by. And if you hover over uh, the slide, you can you can actually, or I should say, if you click, click on the gear, then you get some, some different options. And then if you wanna view it in full screen, this is the button here. In terms of a chart, you have a, a pop-up button here, which will give you a full tab view of this chart. And then, if we look at this, when you scroll, you have to be a little careful because if you scroll over a map, it'll actually change the focus. But here we can scroll in. And if we want a more close up view, we can click here to view a larger map. And then that just makes it a little bit easier to navigate and plan your next trip to Napa. Scrolling down a little further we can look at, in this case, the shark schedule. And if we hover over the calendar, we can scroll up and see how well or how badly the sharks have been doing this year. And we can see their upcoming home and away games and decide if we wanna go. Here's the embedded document. Same thing, you can hover over it and scroll just within the page, or if you want, you could pop it out and you'll be in the full document. Here, I can request a Google Suite or G Suite promo code simply by putting in my address and country, US or Canada. And then finally, here is the image. So that in a nutshell is the use of the new Google sites to display a lot of embedded information from across different types of Google applications. One other thing from an SEO perspective, the new sites does pretty well one thing that's missing is the ability to control the meta description. But aside from that, it makes pretty good use of H1 and H2 headings. And then some of this is really up to you as the author. You want to make sure that your ratio of text to HTML is over 15%, at least according to the uh, folks at SEO Quake. So overall, it does pretty well from an SEO perspective. Maybe not as well as you'd expect something from Google to do, but pretty well.